to stay with uh, Florida, do you like putting the Gators on the schedule? Yes, absolutely. I'm all for – I want – I mean, I know you don't, we're probably not going to get into this, but I'm dying to get out of the ACC. You know, as long as Mario's here and, the, and we keep spending the money we're spending. Because remember, we've never – no one talks about this around the country, and it blows my mind, but we never put money in our program, ever. This is the first time. This is the first time that we've ever put money in our program. Like, even back, like, you know, the first, nothing. We had, this is the first time that we're on a, when I say even playing field, I mean, like, you know, there's a st- actual staff that we, we, we were spending, spending money on. There's actual analysts, like, like the Georgia, like the Ohio States, like the Michigans, like the... We, not, and I'm not saying poor Miami. We deserve it. We did some things that were wrong. We got penalized. I get it, but it's exciting that we are on an even playing field with a guy that knows how to build. Now, can does he know how to coach in game? I don't know. We'll see. You know, we'll see. I, I, I hope we can even get to that bridge. Yeah, that'd be great to try to cross that bridge. But for me, it's being done the right way. I want to get out of the ACC and I want to play a great schedule. I want to play all, all the, you know, I want to get the Penn States again. I want to get the Michigans. I love to play Ohio States, the USC's, you know, give me, you know, I, I'm, I'm dying for that. I'm, you know, I'm old. I want to see good football at the end of the day. I don't want to go play Wake Forest. No disrespect to Wake Forest. I don't want to go play Boston college. Like, come on. Like, why did we bring Mario here to do that? Like, but we got to prove it. Cause right now we've averaged seven and five for the last 20 years. So we're there. Why don't we continue on that path? The the opponents you all mentioned are in the Big Ten. So, yes. so the two part question is how likely do you think that is to happen? It sounds like that's your preference. So likelihood, and then I think we've already answered the other question. It sounds like that would be your preference. Everybody wants to be a conference realignment expert right now, right? Everybody. I can only tell you about my school, Miami. It's, it was no coincidence that Julio Frank left to UCLA, which is our president. And the guy that's our president now, if you did a little digging, he's all he's about the football program. He doesn't care about anything else. <laughs> he really doesn't. I mean, it's the truth. They're aligning themselves to have an opportunity to get an invite. You know, I think that if you like to answer your question quickly, my preference would be the Big Ten. Absolutely would be the Big Ten. Um, but you have to make sure that you are able to get the invite, you know, at the end of the day. I know you hear the rumors, oh, they can do this. And now nobody's inviting them here. Like, I just know what I hear from people that I know not my school. And I feel like we're in a solid position to have an opportunity to make a good move to, to a better conference. Um, and I, and, and I, I think that the Big Ten would be amazing for us. Uh, it would definitely be a, an upgrade by a mile. But I do think that Miami would bring a lot to the Big Ten, you know, to be honest, you know, especially getting that footprint down here. I mean, that that's that, that's number one. But come on, I don't know many people that wouldn't want to see Michigan and Miami or Ohio State, Miami, Penn State, Miami, you know, like, come on. Like, that's just how oh, I, I know I would be at all those games until God takes me off this planet, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day. So. I, I really believe that's where I would want to go. And I think Miami's starting to position themselves to have the opportunity to maybe get the invite. Now, what does the invite look like? Do you have to take less? How much less? Uh, what's the, the year parameter? Like, because um, that's going to matter. This next move is a big move, you know, because you pretty much, you need to align yourself one of the two. You know, I think we all can see what's coming later. So, you got to align yourself with one of the two. I prefer the Big Ten. I think the Big Ten is going in the right direction, clearly from a financial standpoint. But I love Oregon and USC being at. Like, I just, I like what they're doing there to make, to beef them up. And they're going to get Notre Dame. We all know they're going to get Notre Dame at some point. It makes no sense for Notre Dame to be in the SEC. And I don't know nothing about Notre Dame's internal things. Uh, recruiting, maybe. But I don't, I don't see a world where I can see Notre Dame in the SEC. <laughs> I just don't see it. Yeah, if you're familiar with the history of college football, first and foremost, they're planted right in the middle of Indiana. So yeah. They are surrounded. They are probably, if you drew uh, the center of the Big Ten, it would be in Indiana. <laughs> so they're in the middle of uh, just geographically. And we know that geographics have been 
thrown out the door with a lot of the conference, conference moves. But the history of that school before this ACC contract was playing Michigan every year, playing Michigan State every year, playing Purdue every year. So they had three Big Ten opponents every year that they had longstanding rivalries with. And ironically, they have re-upped a lot of those contracts. They put Michigan back on the schedule in the future. They just signed last week with Michigan State for like three games. They're playing Purdue five or six consecutive years. So this seems to be right at the time when um, this could go down. So, yeah, Notre Dame is a big um, linchpin in all this. And uh, certainly um, they make sense in the Big Ten. Absolutely. I I mean – there's no, it just there's no way. Like I, I don't see them anywhere but the Big Ten. I just don't. I mean, if something weird, which I don't see happening, but if something weird would happen, where like it's one of the weird rumors they threw out there that you know in the ACC and the Big Twelve would try to kind of emerge or do some kind of thing like that, which I don't see happening because the ACC has a relationship with Notre Dame, maybe, maybe, but I, I'm talking like a five percent, maybe, you know. I see 95, 99% Notre Dame has to end up in the big, it makes sense. It's good for football. It's just a win for everybody, you know, in my opinion. 